Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at Cloud Run volume mounts with Google Cloud Storage. Cloud Run is a fully managed platform that allows you to run containerized applications without worrying about the underlying in infrastructure. However, certain tasks like file handling across services or accessing persistent storage can become challenging in a stateless environment like Cloud Run. Fortunately, a while back, the ability to configure cloud storage volume mounts was released and it's more easier to handle. So this video will guide you through the setup of Google Cloud Storage volume mounts in Cloud Run and demonstrate their advantage through a simple use case. I'll be leaving the official link for configuring cloud storage volume mounts for services. I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. And uh, let's understand what a cloud storage volume mount is. So basically, uh, cloud storage volume mounts let you bind a cloud storage bucket to your cloud run container file system giving your application direct access to files stored in the cloud without needing to download or upload them so the prerequisites for this video are going to be having a google cloud project i guess having a billing account connected to it a basic understanding of cloud run or cloud run functions a, a google cloud storage setup and a basic familiarity or a little understanding of Python and Flask. So this use case that we're going to be building today where we'll be looking at understanding uh, volume mounts. This use case is a simple text file uploader. So this use case is going to be demonstrating how to upload text files directly to a cloud storage bucket using volume mounts in Cloud Run. So we'll be mounting the bucket as a directory in the containers file system and the service then can seamlessly write and store files persistently without managing uploads or downloads so let's get started so the first step that is going to be there is going to be figuring out your google cloud storage bucket so you're going to go to your cloud storage bucket for now i have my bucket created that is known as my logs file bucket but if you to create a new bucket just click on create give it a name and just uh, click on continue you can choose where to store your data and just go ahead and click on create here after you name it and once you're done your bucket will be created and uh, the main important thing about this step is to note down the name of the bucket that's going to be my log files bucket for this particular video. Now that we have the cloud storage bucket created, it's time to build and deploy the cloud run service that's going to be accepting the file and uploading that to the cloud storage bucket. And uh, this step is also going to be involving the configuration of the volume mounts for the service. So what you're going to be doing is going to your cloud run. I'm going to go to my cloud run. You're going to click on deploy container. I can click on service. When you reach in service, you'll be asked to select one type. I'm going to be clicking on use an inline editor. For now, I'm going to be naming the service name as volume mounts video. And you can select a region for that. The runtime one is going to be Python 3. Point. I'm going to be using Python for this particular one. So it's going to be Python 3.10. Click on allow unauthenticated invocations. And once you're done, you just have to scroll down to the containers and volume sections, go to volume and click on add a new volume. So you, this is where you're creating your volume here. In the volume type, you select on cloud storage bucket. You give it, you, it's already, it already has a name and then you have to connect your cloud storage bucket that we just created. So I'm going to be clicking on my log files bucket. I'm going to click on select. And once you're done with this, just click on done and you can see the following volume mounts are not mounted to any container yet. So you have to actually mount this there. So you go back to your container section here. You go to volume mounts. You click on mount volume and you give it a name. I'm going to say GCS1 and the mount path for this case is going to be mount slash storage. It's going to look something like this. Let's just understand the mount path in the volume mounts. So when we are configuring a cloud storage volume mount in cloud run, the mount path is the location inside your container where the cloud storage bucket will be accessible. Think of this as creating a virtual folder within your container that points directly to the contents of your cloud storage bucket. So once you're done, just click on done. And after that, just click on create. And in a few seconds, your service will be created where now you can add your code and then deploy the service. And here you can see as soon as you create your cloud run service, a, a demo code will be given there. And this is the code that we're going to be using for this video. I'm going to be letting it allow for it to deploy first. Once you're here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to be pasting in my code that we're going to be using. And for that, just 
give it a function entry point that's going to be upload so let's break down the code now so the bucket mount path is the location inside the container where the cloud storage bucket is mounted it's retrieved from an environment variable known as mount path set during deployment if no path is provided it defaults to the mount storage path that is there so this directory acts as a bridge between the container's local file system and the bucket's content after that we move to the next function where this basically retrieves the text from the incoming post requests and the form data is expected to contain a field called text after that we have a variable file path that defines where the uploaded file will be stored the file is then created inside the mounted bucket directory with the name upload uploaded file.txt and this this path represents the file in the cloud storage bucket as if it were part of the container's local file system before writing the file we check whether the mount path exists using the os.path.exist command although cloud run should mount the directory automatically but this is just an extra safety check if the directory doesn't exist it is created using the os.make directory the received text from the post request is written to the file uploaded underscore file.txt in the mounted cloud storage bucket the file is opened in the right mode and the content is saved to the bucket via the mount path if the file is successfully written the function returns a success message containing the file path and if an error occurs the exception is caught and an error message is logged and returned to the client with an http status code 500 internal server error and our code is complete and good to go and once you set up your code change the function entry point to upload and click and go ahead and click on save and redeploy and in about a few seconds your service will be deployed and ready for use and here you can see our cloud run service has successfully been deployed and what we're going to be doing is we'll be just copying in this url that's there where we're going to be sending our curled command right now to see whether it's going to be accepting a text and creating a file out of it and uploading it on the cloud storage bucket using the volume mounts once you copy the url i'm going to go to my terminal here where i have my curl command right now that says post text equal to hello cloud storage and after you enter the text you're going to be putting in your cloud run url so i'm going to paste that in here and i'm going to hit on enter and here you can see just in a few seconds a file it gave it gave me back a response saying the file has successfully been written to this particular file path now if i go back to my uh, google cloud console and i open up my google cloud storage to check if uh, the txt file has been created in that particular bucket so i'm going to go to cloud storage i'm going to go to my log files bucket and you can see a new file has successfully been created and if i, I, I we, we cannot view the file on this but if i click on download and i can see it says hello cloud storage and this was the same text that we had just passed from our curl command so this was a short demonstration of how you can use cloud runs volume mounts with cloud storage that simplify managing persistent data in stateless containerized environments by seamlessly binding a cloud storage bucket to your containers file system you can efficiently handle files without modifying much of your existing application code this solution enhances both performance and usability as it removes the need for manual uploads and downloads allowing your application to interact with files as though they were part of a local file system i hope you have understood how you can basically set up cloud runs volume mounts with cloud storage using python and flask i'll be creating more videos around this particular tool where we'll be looking at real world use cases and how cloud run volume mounts are utilized i'll be leaving all the documentation link and the code link in the description you can check that out if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one